Hi everyone, my name is AK. I'm here with Chris today and today we're going to talk about what are the current crypto trends uh, or in the crypto market right now. So right now, as we've seen in the past about six weeks or so, we've seen that NFTs uh, are coming up together with crypto gaming. And we noticed that it actually started with a game or crypto gaming called Axie Infinity, where players buy Axies to fight and they gain um, a crypto or an item called uh, love potions or single love potions and you they use these potions itself to breed more axes in a way to sell so it's kind of like a, a game itself where they actually pay uh, being paid uh, play to earn in a way and we have received reports that players in Philippines itself they actually made it into a full-time job where we have retirees actually playing in such a way that they can actually buy a new home themselves so what do you think about it Chris me uh... <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm, I haven't played games in a while, uh, but for me, I think where the money flows, I tend to follow. So, X Infinity was something that we actually talked about way back in 2020. I still remember in November, uh, that was before the, everything was booming. And, and I remember mentioning uh, to, the, to the guys in the inner circle about how if something were to succeed, <laughs> it would be XE because it's a game, people will use the items to, uh, you know, to breed XEs, SLP, yes, right? correct. SLPs. single love potion or small love something potion. Something like that. And uh, I thought that that was, at that time, the most feasible model out there when, when it comes to gaming. Uh, but recently, of course, there has been just this just insane <laughs> attention or insane hype over NFTs, yep, non-fungible tokens. Even a bit earlier when the Beeple NFT was being sold. So this is one of the uh, NFTs, a non-fungible to token. You can think of it like a, a art, like a Picasso, right? Uh, was was being sold, uh, the most expensive, was it 69 million to some, to some guy yeah, that's some even right here in Singapore? Correct. There wasn't so much hype around it, but in these recent weeks, there's a lot. Uh, you guys, you guys flipped some, right? I remember. Yes. Why don't you share a little bit about that? So recently, we got into one. Um, it's called Fluff. F L U F. They are kind of like 3D animated bunnies. They're dressed in different clothing, uh, accessories, and things like that. And some of them, we started minting it as a start for about 0 0.06 ether. And at the highest, or some of those very rare ones, can be sold up to almost 30 Ethereum. So from base core capital of about 0 0.6 ether What's to 30 dollars? Ethereum. What's that in um, Let's put it as say Ethereum is at, uh, at $3,000. So 0 0.06 will be about 180? 100, right. uh, maybe about $180. So even 25 ether will come up to about maybe almost 100k? Roughly there? No, slightly more than that. 120 20, 25 <laughs> ethereum at three thousand dollars yes seventy five thousand dollars yeah there about 100k correct yeah so from about 180 dollars to selling up to yeah. seventy five thousand, and that is considered mild in a way because there are nfts out there they actually sell out to almost 100 to 200 000 or you know even higher in a way 100 to 000 ethereum <laughs> guys 100 yes. to 000 ethereum correct. is millions of dollars, dollars. So right now, the most ridiculous thing that uh, people are buying are pictures of rocks. <laughs> and they are being sold for 1.3 million. If you are going to go a little bit uh, back in time, we have this thing called punks, crypto punks. punks. So which are pixelated images or pixelated NFTs represented. No, NFTs <laughs> represented by pixelated <laughs> images of punks. And yes. those are going for tens of millions of dollars yep, even, correct. right? I think Visa bought one recently for 1.3 million or 1.4. I can't remember what was the exact price. You can Google it and you'll be able to see uh, Visa buying an NFT punk. So those are the latest things. Uh, some other things that's getting a bit of attention is in crypto world, the, the most mainstream smart contract chain is Ethereum. So right now people are exploring other chains like Solana, uh -huh. Avalanche, Lunch. Phantom, so you can think of it as like an MRT line, right? Last time people always use the red line or the green line, but now there are these other colors, like the purple lines are coming out. Um, there is the blue line that's coming up, Thomson line that's coming up. So in the world of crypto, it's the same. There are these different chains that are coming out as well. 
and a lot of people are paying attention to that. So perhaps one of the plays you can consider when it comes to crypto, right? If you want to invest in crypto, you think about it, you, you draw a parallel to MRT stations. If you can buy a property at the MRT station, what are the best ones? They are the ones at the interchange, right? Right. They are the ones at Paleba, City Hall. No if you want to look at Bishan, those things that are interconnected, and the more interconnected they are, properties around that area typically has uh, a, lot a better more investment value. return because of better connectivity. Connectivity, right? So in crypto, you can invest in projects that help with connectivities between uh, the chains. Hmm. Yeah. So that is yep. one angle and one trend that we are looking at right now. All right, so um, that's pretty much it for our you know crypto update. So hope we'll see you more. Um, do press on the like button, yeah, and share with us you know what further comments also or what you want to find out more about cryptocurrency. All right, so okay, we can answer your questions as well in our follow up videos. Yeah, excellent. See you guys. Bye. Bye.